Hey everybody, I'm Taylor. Thanks for joining me today. As we all know, there are thousands and thousands of miles of highway in Mississippi that get us around. But have you ever wondered what a typical Mississippi highway is built from? My friends Kusal and Avinash recently found out from one of our professors here at MSU. Let's listen in. In the Mississippi Highway Network, one of the most common configurations that you're going to see is natural soil that is being protected by a chemically stabilized base that has asphalt that is placed on top of that chemically stabilized base. So to produce that, we would start with our natural soils. We would add some water. We would add some cement for stabilization. We would mix that all up. We would mix it up better than this if we were actually going to use it. And what we would ultimately produce would be a mixed soil that we would compact in some way. This is a laboratory configuration of how we might perform that compaction. Once that material is compacted on the roadway, it's going to be in large blocks simulated by this slab. And once it cured out, it cures out, it's going to be a lighter color, going to be very strong, able to hold up the highway system, especially after we put asphalt over the top of that stabilized material. Now, asphalt is really nothing more than rocks plus additives plus a petroleum-based adhesive or glue that is refined as, as part of the process of producing fuel. Asphalt on the inside can look like this. This one's actually made with limestone, but you can make it with different types of rocks. And then if we choose to, we can also armor that asphalt with some sort of a seal treatment that allows us to maintain friction resistance to keep people safe as they're driving on the roads. And it also keeps water from coming into the pavement. So that's kind of the, the beginning to end of what a typical highway might look like that the people of Mississippi are driving on on a daily basis.